Hello, this is Alan here. In this session, I'm going to teach you to how to study without distraction. The first key is pick your environment. Okay, Pick the environment, the right environment for you to study. Choose a place to study where you feel most comfortable. You may like to stay in a place with people around, like the library, or no people around, like a special room in your home. You may like music or TV to drown out background noise, or you may want complete quiet. You may also like to study with bright light or dim light. Reserve the place to study to what your associates that own that place only for studying. Like a, a, a bad thing is like if you study in your bed, you'll confuse yourself because your bed is associated with sleeping and not studying. So put yourself a little corner that's your study environment. Set up a corner where you can go back to and it becomes like your psychological spot for studying. And if it's going to the library, even try to pick the same corner all the time once you find one that works for you. So pick your environment. Secondly, always reduce distraction. Okay. If you're visually distracted, be sure to find a place to study where there is nothing to distract you. If you're studying in the library, make sure to sit away from the main desk at the door or at the door. Uh, if possible, sit facing the wall or the book stacks. Even if you like to study with people around, you need to be sure that you'll be not tempted to watch people rather than study. For example, if there's a baseball game happening outside the room where you're studying, be sure, be sure to sit far from the window so that you're not tempted to watch the game. So don't study near things that you may be tempted to play with or to pay attention to, like a video game or a stapler or something. So try to reduce the distraction. So it's individual here. So depending on what distracts you, you stay away from it. If music distracts you, then you stay away from music. If TV distracts you, then turn it off. Um, I'm not sure if anybody can actually study with the TV on, but whatever it is that distracts you, stay away from it. If it's people, then study alone. The next point is to try to eliminate noise. Okay. If you're distracted by noise, study in a quiet room. If you're still distracted by noise, like the air conditioner or something, use earplugs to block out background noise. If you like to study with music or TV, make sure that you're not being distracted by it. You can find some kind of music that will work. Okay, If you listen to songs with lyrics while studying, you are uh, likely to be distracted by the music as you try to, to sing along. If you ignore the lyrics, then you may be helped by the music. But try to maybe get something like uh, a type of music that you don't have to, you're not trying to sing along or listen to the story of the song. Uh, if your TV on, and you're listening to what people are saying, then the TV is distracting you. If you don't pay attention to what people are saying, then the TV may be good because it may be blocking out the background noise. So again, this is very individual. Okay, um, For some people working in a public place where there's um, a little bit of noise in the background, it kind of drowns out. Um, maybe it's in a mall and they sit at the, at the coffee place and they open their book there. Um, into the cafeteria of the of the of the mall or the of the school or the college, maybe it's good for you. But pick what it is. But usually try to eliminate the distracting noise. What's gonna cause you to try to look away from your notes and from studying? Okay. The next one is you can also self-talk yourself. Sometimes people are distracted by internal factors from their own body, like the grumbling grumbling stomach itch. You're thinking about other things to do. When you become aware of internal distraction, talk to yourself and direct your attention back to studying. Example, if your stomach is grumbling, tell yourself, it's almost lunchtime and I'm hungry. I have to study for another 10 minutes before lunch, so I'll ignore my stomach noise. You'll be amazed how much the self-talk will actually work on your body. Okay, So if you're tempted to be distracted, Talk to yourself. Say, okay, I need to focus on this for another hour or one hour. Again, remember, maximum 50 minutes at a time studying is a good thing. So give yourself, you know, another half hour and then take a break. Reward yourself and then come back. 
So this acronym we just went through, PATS, you know, P-A-T-S. Pick your best learning environment. Always reduce visual distraction. Again, the key is distraction. Try to eliminate noise around you that distracts you. And self-talk to control internal distraction. Simple, easy to remember. Thank you, and we'll talk to you on the next session.